Right now, a silent revolution is unfolding. It's reshaping industries, eliminating jobs, and creating new ones faster than we can prepare for. AI isn't coming, it's already here. Rewriting the rules of success and failure. The real question is, will Jamaica seize this moment and lead? Or will we watch from the sidelines as the world moves ahead without us? Because here's the hard truth. Those who don't adapt will be left behind. Let's break it down. Jamaica is at a turning point. Artificial intelligence is no longer a distant dream of tech giants. It's reshaping economies, industries, and societies right now. AI is streamlining businesses, automating tasks, and even outperforming humans in some professions. The challenge? Most people aren't ready. Many schools still teach for a world that no longer exists. Many workers are in industries on the brink of massive change, and many businesses are operating without a clear strategy for an AI-driven future. The biggest question isn't whether AI will change Jamaica, but whether we will use it to create opportunities or let it replace us. The challenge, will we be consumers or creators? For too long, small nations have been passive consumers of technology. We import it, we use it, and we depend on foreign companies to set the rules. But with AI, we have a chance to shift that narrative. Will we create our own AI-driven solutions, tailored to Jamaica's needs? Or will we sit back and watch as foreign companies dictate how AI affects our economy and job market? This isn't a distant concern. It's already happening. AI is replacing traditional jobs in finance, customer service, and logistics. But it's also creating new roles, ones that demand specialized skills. Without proper preparation, we won't be in line for those opportunities. We'll be left behind. The blueprint for Jamaica's AI future. Number one, invest in education and skills development. Jamaica must redefine what it means to be educated. AI literacy should be part of school curricula and vocational training must shift towards digital skills. It is good that the Ministry of Education has started work here. We must not rest. Coding, data analysis, and machine learning should be as fundamental as reading and writing. But it doesn't stop at students. Our workforce needs upskilling now. The small business sector is significantly lagging behind, now at 18% AI utilization. Current projections estimate a 15 to 18 year timeline for workforce-wide AI competency how can we shorten this timeline? Number two, build digital infrastructure. AI cannot thrive without strong digital foundations. High-speed internet, widespread connectivity, and cloud computing infrastructure are critical. Rural communities should not be left behind. Access to technology must be equal if we want true national progress. Like many other things, let us not sit on the National AI Task Force 2025 report that calls for rapidly expanding AI computing capacity under public control. Number three, foster innovation ecosystems. AI isn't just about big corporations. It's about startups, researchers, and problem solvers. Jamaica needs innovation hubs, funding for AI-driven projects, and tech incubators that support local talent. Our best minds should develop AI that solves unique Jamaican problems, from agriculture to disaster response. Number four, develop a national AI strategy. Without a strategy, AI adoption will be scattered and ineffective. Jamaica needs a roadmap with clear goals, investment priorities, and industry collaborations. Thankfully, the work has started. And in this election campaign, the political leaders must commit to continuing this work. Government, business leaders, and educators must work together to create policies that position Jamaica as a regional AI leader. Number five, promote ethical AI use. AI isn't neutral, 
It can be biased, discriminatory, and even dangerous when misused. Jamaica must establish clear ethical guidelines to prevent AI from reinforcing social inequalities or compromising personal data. Oversight bodies should be in place to ensure fairness and accountability. The 2025 AI Task Force recommends bipartisan consensus on ethical AI deployment in political campaigns. Let's begin now. Number six, leverage AI for public sector efficiency. Imagine AI-powered systems cutting hospital wait times, optimizing traffic flow, or improving disaster response. AI can make governance smarter, reducing inefficiencies and freeing up resources for better public services. But we must be intentional about where and how AI is implemented. Number seven, encourage public-private partnerships. AI development is expensive and no single sector can do it alone. Collaboration between government and private companies is essential. Jamaica should offer incentives to businesses investing in AI research and seek partnerships with global tech leaders to bring expertise and funding. Our first dedicated AI research lab is now under construction and should be completed this year. And the private sector organization of Jamaica, PSOJ, cannot sit on the sidelines. It has a role to play here. High commendation to businessman Glenn Christian, who is spearheading a charge for STEM education in teacher training institutions, beginning with Myco University. Number eight, focus on local problem solving. AI should work for Jamaicans solving Jamaican problems. We must prioritize AI in climate resilience, crime prevention, and farming innovations. Instead of importing solutions that don't fit our needs, we must support local developers in creating AI that understands and benefits our communities. Number nine, ensure data privacy and security. AI runs on data. But if that data isn't protected, we risk exploitation, surveillance, and security threats. Jamaica needs robust cybersecurity laws, stronger digital protections, and citizen awareness about AI privacy risks. Trust in AI depends on transparency and control over personal information. Number 10, prepare for workforce transition. AI will reshape jobs, it's inevitable. But instead of resisting change, we must prepare workers for the future. Some industries will shrink, while others will explode with new opportunities. Reskilling programs should be in place, ensuring that displaced workers don't become casualties of progress, but beneficiaries of new careers. The trade unions must get active here and work with employers. Your job cannot be to resist everything. This is a new era. Step into it or become irrelevant. Here's the harsh reality. If Jamaica doesn't act now and accelerate its work, we're in trouble. We will see massive job losses, economic stagnation, and increasing reliance on foreign technology that doesn't serve our best interests. AI can either be our greatest ally or our greatest challenge, but there's still time to choose our path. We can either stand on the sidelines or take control of our AI destiny. What we must do today. AI isn't just a conversation for policymakers and business leaders. It's a conversation for you. If you're watching this, here's what you need to ask yourself. Am I preparing for an AI-driven future? What skills do I need to learn today? How can I use AI to improve my job or business? The world is changing fast. Those who take action now will have the advantage. Here are some bonus facts for you. AI is expected to create nearly 100 million new jobs by 2025, but only for those with the right skills. In the Caribbean, AI is already being used in smart farming, helping farmers predict droughts and increase food security. The tourism industry could see AI-driven services transforming customer experiences in Jamaica's hotels and attractions. By 2030, 
AI could add $15 trillion to the global economy. Jamaica can claim its share. Countries that invest in AI education today will dominate the economy of tomorrow. AI can help us solve some of our biggest challenges, from crime to climate change. The time to act is now, because the future won't wait for us. It's up to us to shape it. The world isn't slowing down. AI is changing everything, whether we're ready or not. The choice is ours. Do we prepare, innovate, and lead? Or do we sit back and watch as the world moves forward without us? Jamaica has the talent, the culture, and the drive to succeed. But success isn't automatic. It's earned. The future of work in Jamaica is being shaped right now. What role will we play? If you found this eye-opening, share it. Start the conversation. And most importantly, start preparing. The future won't wait. If you haven't already, please like this video and subscribe to our channel, Impacting Jamaica, today.